welcome to this meeting organized by GAU. This meeting, as the chairman said before, is one in many meetings whereby we are informing workers and we are sensitizing them as to what is taking place in Gaisuku as it relates to people's job and their future. Every day as we work, every day as we wake up, we are seeing closer days of disaster, days of darkness and days of uncertainty. And all of that has been brought upon us by a man in Daishuku who is heading that cooperation, whose name is Errol Hanuman, Chief Executive Officer. Daishuku, when we looked at the presentation that was made by the CEO to the government, and when we look at what the government said about sugar, we couldn't find where the difference is. We believe it was one person who was stuck and to be lavish. And then, you know what they told me a few weeks ago? They said we got to call the union and we got to look back at the number of workers who are at Wales because the numbers are looking too high and already they start to engage us about people at Enmore who are going to be put off about 250 of them not the day after tomorrow but the other Saturday will be the last working day in Gaisuku after many years comrades I dread to see that day that you will face the same fate. I dread to see that day. But I am confident that we could avoid that day. We could prevent that day from happening. But how are we going to do it? We can do it unitedly in one voice, committed and in unity across race, across religion, and together from the community support. Workers, their family, businesses, the school children, the entire community. Because at the end of the day, we will all be in the same boat. We will all face the same fate. And therefore, if we want to provide an opportunity for us to change course, to force the government to change course, then we have to provide that opportunity for each and every one of us to be engaged, to be involved, and to be actively involved, and not only to stand by the wayside and say, may support are you. The support has to be much more than that. And comrades, we have to be vigilant because many people have expressed their shock, their disappointment on what is happening in this country. We are sliding quickly back into a state of dictatorship. And there are many signs of this. You know, the comrades told you earlier that while people are saying that look, we mustn't come and talk politics, the politicians are making the decisions to ruin your lives. And therefore we have to be wary about other things that they are doing. For example, without any consultation, appointing an 84-year-old man who's going to be 87 by the time elections meet. I don't know if he's going to make it until then. 
But then that is relevant because the same democracy that we are talking about, this government is saying something and is preaching something different. They have not come and consult you. They have not done the socio-economic study to know how people will be affected and how you could ease the shock, what alternatives could be provided. I asked them at the meeting, is there going to be any alternative? And they said, well, we can't guarantee you any alternative. We cannot tell you about an alternative. But what we can tell you is that it will be closed. This is with respect to Enmore and with respect to Rosal. And at Skeldon, I asked them, are you going to sell it out? They said yes. I asked them how early. They said, well, we never got buyer yet. But you never got buyer and you're destroying the estate already, putting people's livelihood on the breadline. What this government has done is nothing else than to shatter people's dream. You work your whole life with an intention that you could provide better for your family. You could send your children to school, you could give them education, but they are not concerned about that. In 2017, we are continuing to work for 2014 wages while others are getting increases. They take away the API and they are saying that we want to make a better life for you. Well, if this is the better life, imagine what it will be when it becomes even better than this next year. Because the economy is not performing. And I told you, for some workers at Enmore, the 11th of November will be their last working day. Well, on the 11th of November, 2,000 young people will graduate from UG. This government said that they will find jobs for the young people. Where are the jobs? They are putting more and more people out of jobs rather than finding jobs. And therefore, comrades, I want to join with the other comrades. I want to appeal to you that this is a time of testing moments. This is a time of challenge. And this is a time that we got to stand up for our own interests. This is a time more than ever that we got to be united in this country and in Skeldon in particular to ensure that these atrocities are not further perpetuated on the backs of the ordinary people. I say to you, stand up and be counted. Stand up and let us fight it because it is the only way we could be able to influence a change. I thank you.